Sad moment here at Titoplasmas. It's time to remove this. Yeah, much better. Now that I have a space, I will set up the slider with a dolly. So we'll be doing a little of motion control in this project. This is the slider, the camera head, and the crane. One day I will talk about this Frankenstein. This head took me a lot of months to, to build. And it's huge. So it will be here. I must fix something in my crane. It's something about the this axis. It's a big problem because when that turns, as this bar is not perfectly aligned, it makes a small rotation. It generates a movement like this. So I am going to disassemble all the, the rig. And I think that the best solution will be to And my solution goes from a turning movement to a, ouch, a linear movement. I will make something like this, that you turn a gear and, and then you have a linear movement. Starting with holes as, as always. This will be my rack and here you see the plates I have with all the, the threads and the holes and my two gears. So the only thing I need is a pair of axes here, here and something to connect the motor to this axis and job done that's near to be ready I just need to fit all this system inside these two bars
last assembly. Let's see if everything works. Time to test. Yeah. 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 Let me show you. This is my cheap solution, homemade, for a big bearing, big ball bearing, and then I insert all these ball bearings. This has a little bit of gap that allows a perfect turning and this will be underneath or underneath here and will allow this to turn all the balls in place Yeah. Nice. And here, these bearings will keep everything in place and allow allow turning. Homemade. Everything is adjusted, tension in the ball bearings, distance here, it's okay, and the homemade plate, it's, it's alright, and see how smooth it turns. Very excited about my mechanical improvements in the dolly and it's time to improve all the electronics. The upgrade will be from this driver to this bigger and better driver. And look how many steps. The problem with the first ones is the noise. All them makes a lot of noise and it's very difficult to work. Time to plug in the power and see if all the connections are okay. So
so it works now make all all the connections for the other three drivers all the connections are ready power supply to the power all drivers with the wires to each motor and finally my Arduino and two big Z drivers and you can see each step and direction pin with its label to make easy the connections between each driver here to the Arduino everything in place also I have here a hole to connect easy and fast in the Arduino so goodbye to the horrible noise now we only have the cooling fans not so loud <laughs>